How could it be that the people from Doa De'a, from the generation of knowledge, that was at Mount Sinai and saw and heard the words of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Meraglim, that were the leaders of Am Yisrael, Korach Ve'adato, which were also the leaders of Israel after the first ones died, how could they all not know what I just taught you for the last hour and a half? If they saw it, and yet a zona that belongs to an, a nation of cursed people, she didn't know it, and she passed the test. How could it be? Now you can't tell me they were ignorant. They knew a whole lot more than us. They knew a lot more than her. You can't tell me she was a genius. They heard and saw the words of God. How could it be that a generation of people that saw and heard the word of Hashem goes to Genom permanently? The Gemara says, "En leim chelik lolam aba." Korach is still in Genom; he's not coming out. There's one day out from Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says that maybe at the end he'll come out. That he gets from the pasuk tzaddik etamar yifrach. He says that's Korach because really he was a real tzaddik and he just made one mistake. So there is a opinion that maybe one day after a zillion years he'll come out. Needless to say, he's in Genom and the rest of his friends are there too. How could it be that he's in Genom? And Rachav, Rachav, it's Kodesh Kodeshim in Gan Eden right now. They both knew that HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs the world. Even more so, the Miraglim, even more so, Korach Ve'adato. They saw it. They saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu run the world. They saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu destroy Egypt. They saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu bring the plagues. They saw Hashem in action. Rachav heard. She didn't see nothing. How could they be in Gainom and she's in Gan Eden? The Gemara says, Yitzhara has seven names. Really has more. But it has seven names. HaKadosh Baruch Hu calls them Ra. Ra, evil. Moshe Rabbeinu calls him Arel. Arel, like the extra foreskin of a male member when he's born, or the Orla on the lev, on the on the heart. Something extra. David Melech had a name for him. Shlomo Melech had a name for him. Ishaya had a name for him. Ze Ra, Arel, a Sone, Evan, Sfoni, all these names. Why? So you see, Yetzara, Kadosh Bachu calls him evil because he tries to create Machloket, tries to get in the middle, tries to distort your idea of what's good and bad. Why? Rabbi speaks for three hours, but he said one word you didn't like. He said maybe you shouldn't wear a wig because source of wigs from Abu Dazara. Maybe you should rebuke your brother or your cousin or your neighbor that's driving on Shabbat. Maybe you should stop saying that the Lubavitch Rebbe, Allah Shalom, is really Mashiach. Maybe you should get out of this unethical business. Maybe you should study more Torah. Stop wasting seeds. Stop wasting your time. Stop watching sports. Maybe you should do all these things. Three hours he said you liked it. But he said those one things, he didn't like it. Takadosh Baruch Hu says, this is Ra. This is the Yetzer Ra. They say, see, this rabbi is it's no good. Two hours and 59 minutes was good. 
one minute he said you something you don't like. No, no, he's, don't listen to him anymore. Don't listen to him anymore. Don't listen. It's no good. Yetzirah shows up on Shabbat. No one's in Shabbat on Shabbat. Right before Shabbat. The husband tells the wife, Honey, do me a favor. Don't put the cup of wine right at the corner of the table because somebody could hit it. Okay. We we'll have guests tonight. Okay, okay. Shabbat Shalom. Okay, Shabbat Shalom. It goes to, gets ready. That all the guests come. Ishtabach Shimo. Everybody comes. Shalom Aleichem. Malachi Asharet. One of the kids runs into the table and the cup slills and everybody in, on a new suit, on a new shirt. <laughs> Why? The cup was in the corner. If it was in the middle, it wouldn't. It was in the middle. It probably would have still spilled, but spilled on the table. But because it was in the corner, it spilled on you. So what did Yetzirah do? Yetzirah gives you memory now. All of a sudden, you remember. You don't remember how much your wife toiled on Shabbat. You don't remember the 87 different salads that she made. You don't remember the chicken and the souffle and the this and the tzitzot and the, and the whatever food you have from Gan Eden on the table. No! What do you remember? I told you not to put the cup at the corner of the table. That's what you remember. Why you remember that? Because the Yetzirah is sitting right next to you. Ra! When does he come? Destroy your Shabbat. Right there. Right there. One small thing. The whole Shabbat's going to the garbage. Why? You just embarrassed her in front of her parents. You just embarrassed her in front of your, your friends. You just embarrassed her in front of the kids. She doesn't want to talk to you forever. Needless to say the Shabbat. Why? Because you told her. You told her. You told her. Big chacham you are. You told her. That's what Yetzirah does. What's Arel? Why is Moshe Rabbeinu called Yetzirah Arel? Arel is desires. Arel is extra. Something that's not needed. Extra. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says you don't need a girlfriend before you get married. Why? If you have one, you're going to make sins. You don't need to hang out with these people. Because if you do, you'll make sins. You don't need to work for this company because if you work for them, you'll make sins. Yeah, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, but she's really cute. Yeah, but they're a lot of fun. Yeah. That's the point. The Yetzirah says, Arel. Arel, extra. What does it mean, extra? If you want a share in the world to come, you have to cut off the extra, even if it bleeds. Even if it hurts. You have to get rid of it. It hurts you to disconnect from your friend. It hurts you to get disconnect from your girlfriend. It hurts you to leave this job. Good. That means that that was the Yetzirah. There's a lot of really cool stuff on our websites, uh, new features, uh, and uh, a lot more uh, projects that are on the way that Bezat Hashem will help Am Yisrael get closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to publicize HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name and uh, know that He is the one and only God. God.